We are now, I'm very pleased to say, going to connect with our winners. There they are. It was uh, seven days ago that we had this picture of Lucinda Skew and Korak Rambler. And it is a delight and a joy to see you all again clutching that Randolph's Grand National Trophy. Um, Lucinda, he's, um, he's being a good boy this morning, Korak. I sort of feel that we're about to take the whole tone of your show right down. It's just going to be destroyed. I'm sorry. But, yeah, no, he's been fantastic. He's been out in the field. He's having a lovely time. We're just so proud of him. You know, um, yeah, I'm just so pleased with him. Well, you, you must be ridiculously proud of him. He's a horse of such charisma, a horse that was such a popular winner as well. I, I wanted to know from you, Lucinda, how you felt about the public reaction to, to you guys and to this horse. Oh, I was really touched by it, you know. I think we're, we're very lucky, and I know, I'm sorry, I've had to record your programme, but I think you're right. There's, we, we've got to, there are people that we need to win over, but the people that are already on our side, you know, a horse like this is just ideal for me to follow. He's got very odd face markings, but he's immensely talented and with just an incredible personality. And I know we know it, but it's just nice if other people can share that as well. And, and I said before the race that the thing about the Grand Nationals, it puts the horses into history. And I just, I'm so proud of Carrot that he's in history, even though he's Skew. not that bothered at the moment. <laughs> Skew. <laughs> Skew, he's not going to stand still for too long. We saw that We saw that last week, even after galloping four and a quarter miles and taking on 30 fences yesterday. Is there any bottom to this horse? Oh, look, I, I, I don't... <clears throat> you know, with, again, going back to the subject we talk about, I, you know, I think... For this particular horse, it was a very fair test, that, that race. And he, um, and, uh, so I, I don't want to see a bottom to him. I, uh, I, I, one of the most ridiculous statements in racing is, oh, come on, let's go and out, find out how good he is. I don't want to find out how good he is. I just want him to be set a fair test every time he goes out and come back like this. I mean, he, straight after the race, I mean, he was tired after the race, but within... A short time, they took him out onto the front of the course. Paul Lucinda wasn't there because she was doing all her press interviews. But he stood there with people taking photographs of him. And, um, you know, he, he wasn't tired. It, it, but, but he is a remarkable athlete. But it's, I don't want to get to the bottom of him, no. I mean, you have spent your life with, with horses. You, you rode tens of thousands as a jockey. You must have been very fond of an awful lot of them. You've been partially responsible for the preparation now of no fewer than four Grand National winners, um, even though your name won't appear alongside any of them. But I, 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 why, why have you really fallen in love with this horse as you have? Ooh, I, I don't want to... You know, I, they're all different, actually. You know, I look back to Bindery and Earth Summit. I saw the lovely owner of Earth, you know, and Nigel Payne, who has been responsible for the promotion of Aintree over the many years. And I always laughed with Nigel when Earth Summit won the Grand National. I, lo I love it. As Lucinda said, with Arthur, it was life-changing. Earth Summit was life-changing to Nigel Payne. We used to laugh. And Nigel, if you said, oh, I see that uh, Sadler's Wells won the derby. Well, if you go back and long enough in Earth Summit pedigree, you will find a relation to Earth Summit. You know, it changed his life. He, he couldn't get a sentence out without saying Earth Summit. Um, <laughs> Bindery was fantastic. And, and then, you know, Arthur, we, I was just... Oh, we've just... You know, Arthur was more like a child. Uh, and therefore, you loved him just the same. He wouldn't have stood this. Uh, uh, he didn't like the attention that, uh, like Korak does. It's, now, don't you pour on me. I'm telling everybody how <laughs> you can going to have a character. I mean, he is just an extraordinary horse. I couldn't say that, you know, I, we talk about love, uh, these horses. Um, you know, they don't love us. I, I am just, I, I try to use the words, you know, he has given me immense privilege, this horse. And with that privilege comes immense responsibility and, you know, get it out to the public that we are a wonderful sport. Um, and, you know, with, without, you know, the, the death is inevitable um, to him, to me, to you. Suffering is not acceptable. And I believe that racing has brought the standard of welfare and care 
to horses that would perhaps, I wish it would get to some humans. And uh, without the races like the Grand National, you know, the, the investment wouldn't be there in, in, in their welfare and, and their veterinary care. And, and that stops the suffering. That's um, absolutely spot on. Um, Lucinda, I, I just want to ask you, this horse has given everything yesterday. What, what's what's the, going to be the plan for him now? We're going to build a castle in the garden for him, and <laughs> we're going to live there with him. <laughs> and then uh, and there'll be fairies and little uh, oh, company yeah. dancing around the garden. <laughs> you see what I have to put up with? Everyone says, oh, Peter's Peter will be a tough jockey. You wait, Davy Russell, you're going to go the same way. Um, <laughs> I don't know. I, I just... Um, I mean, see he'll have a nice summer now. I don't know, will he do the national again? We'll have to speak to the owners and see see what they think. But um, for me, he's just, he's earned himself a historical status. And I just think he's a wonderful horse. Uh, we were talking about it coming back last night. He'll probably have to go into conditions races now because we might have finally blown his handicap mark. Um, <laughs> but anyway, we'll, we'll see. I don't, at the moment, all I want to do is tell him how much, how much we have to thank him. I mean, I, this is the wrong time to ask this question, but I'm going to ask it anyway. Could you actually see the source in a Gold Cup next year? Uh, look, I, obviously, we have a wonderful <laughs> man, Paul McIver, who does our form planning for us. Uh, I, and Luce was, so he will give us a list of races that he can go to. Luce said, you know, with, you know, I love my rugby. Um, like, I, these players come back from the British Lions tour. It really takes their energy out of them. Um, I suspect, though, he's come out remarkably well. It'll hit him at some stage. Um, I, I don't think we'll see him much till the autumn time next year. He'll have a big long holiday, and uh, yeah, he will go back to Cheltenham because well, he's unbeaten at Aintree and Cheltenham, I think. <laughs> <laughs> so he likes so. I've forgotten that. <laughs> um, Lucinda, I, I, Skew is just so overwhelmed that um, he, he's making a lot of sense and and some nonsense as well uh, but I, I, w I want you to put the final word on this with a with a, a thought for Derek Fox because he took a I'm not saying he took a risk but it was a calculated risk to miss a hoy senor on Thursday and, and it was all about this horse uh, that takes a bit of doing that that's pretty brave what he when he put himself through the last couple of weeks yeah but uh, everyone that knows Derek he's a very thoughtful boy he um we had to we just yeah we had to make a decision and, and it was a you know, he knows the horse. That maybe that's the maybe that's the wonder of having a jockey that that knows the horses that work with us and that um, know everything that we're trying to do. He's been part of that. Can, can I come in there? Just I know, but <laughs> he's You know, I had a bit of a fallout with him on Friday, but he only in the he's so direct. Where we'd be like, Davy, he's so direct in his talk. But he says what he means, and I said, Come on, Derek, get yourself. You ride Apple away. He'll she'll win. Ride Apple away. So no, I'm going to ride one horse. He. He had the ultimate faith in this horse. And that, perhaps Davy and Adam can elaborate on this, but I don't think between them, they never missed a beat. A quite extraordinary. And, you know, I know that a loose horse went across from a canal turn and something, but I don't think you'll, you'll rarely see such a clean round of jumping where a rider and horse are at one. And, and, and that's the whole point of our, what we're trying to do, I think. Um, Luc Lucinda, Skew, Korak, what a team you are. Um, you've warmed all our hearts. Thank you so much for everything the last, uh, the last week or so as well. And it's just wonderful to see the horse in such good shape this morning. And just um, keep going with those carrots, Skew. <laughs> thank what a you. good boy. Yeah, he stood still this morning. <laughs> and thank you to everyone that, that supports him. He really is a phenomenal horse. I'm so pleased that people appreciate him. Just beautiful to see him. Thanks so much.